Unsurprisingly, the manager that we've gone with today is uh, Joachim Lowe. Obviously, defeated in their first game against the French. They played well. Uh, but today they got the uh, job done after you've just heard they're going down by a goal as well uh, winning it eventually by four goals to two fantastic performance from the Germans fantastic performance uh, from the manager and he's doing his old tricks again of which I don't want to go over and over and over <laughs> but you know what he's been up to uh, anyway um, he's out of a gig after this tournament yep. is Joachim Law there's quite a few ma- uh, managerial vacancies Yeah, uh, not more so in the Premier League my man anybody out there any, any, any of these teams the Spurs of the world the Evertons of this world those types of teams would they have a look at Joachim Lowe and maybe bring him in? Would he want to do something like that? I'm not sure. I think he's at that age now, isn't he? Where he might... He's been a German manager for so long. On the beach? Yeah, he might think, you know what, I want to stop uh, managing now. But even just on him, he's made some big decisions. Yeah. Like Leroy Sane, like how good is he? He can't get inside. Mm. Shows the big manager. He'll make these big decisions. So we're going to go on to England in a bit. England need a big manager who will drop a player, even if he is a big player. Mm. It's best for the team. So I think he's done him a great job there and it wouldn't surprise me, Germany is sneaky, could easily win it sneakily. Yeah. Um, speaking of big players, came with a big reputation to Chelsea, did Kai Havertz. Didn't necessarily get off to a flying start, but I thought by the back end of the season, started to come yeah. good. Um, obviously picked up a... Uh, goals well you could give him a couple today can't you yeah. unless you want to give some own goals in there and all that type of stuff of which will probably go down uh, properly uh, but Chelsea fans should be excited with him for next yeah. season shouldn't they because he seems to he seems to have got his act together yeah I was really disappointed with him for the first um, six months but you know since especially um, Tuchel come in he's been playing better and better and you can just see can't you mm. you can see there's a player in there with him he's, he started getting better and better and I think he'll go on in this tournament to keep scoring goals and then Chelsea will see the best um, version of him next season mm. from a Portugal point of view um, and maybe a Man United point of view as well a bit of concern over Bruno Fernandes he, he kind of t- tapered off at the back in the season it, mm. it might, listen it might be a fatigue thing I don't know yeah. but he's definitely not doing it in this tournament no and even today you know I think that there was a, there was a part in the game where he give away the ball for the was it the fourth goal but mm. he just he gets on the ball sometimes and it's like I think he's got too much time than he has gives the ball away makes the wrong pass and it was like that for the last well, these five, six games of Manchester United didn't turn up in the final of the Europa League and he come off in the 65th minute today and it wouldn't surprise me if he doesn't start the next game so he's been very poor. Mm. Uh, that was our choice for which manager has been taking care of business unsurprising given the results today. Uh, all brought to you by Intuit QuickBooks official sponsor of TalkSports coverage of the UEFA Euro 2020. Who's taking care of business on TalkSport with Intuit QuickBooks? What a great save. And with our small business accounting software, you can save an average of seven hours a week on admin. Results. Intuit QuickBooks, helping you take care of business. Uh, phone lines are open 08717 A couple of questions that I've thrown your way. Should Kane be dropped? That's it. Should Kane be dropped? And is Southgate the man uh, to take this team uh, to Euro glory? 08717 Get in contact with the show. Uh, Chris, welcome, mate. How are you? Evening, boys. How are you? Yeah, we're, well, yeah, you know, we've had 24 hours to get over yesterday, mate. We're in a better mood now, so <laughs> go for it, Chris. What do you want to say? I was on the drive farm show, must have been coming up to about two months ago, uh, and I said then, Kane needs... That's always dropping. He needs to be left out of a couple of the group games, and we need to adapt a different style of play with the players we've got. Obviously, we can't do it now. I was thinking of taking the lots of Madison as well as what we have. But everyone now is saying Kane needs dropping. And he does. He's, I think he scored once in the last 15 England games. And it was a penalty. When I, whether this comes down to what's happened club level with Mourinho and him trying to get to play a different style. But there's no reason why we couldn't have gone into the tournament as previous winners like Spain have done. And what the likes of, say, France are doing now. And not play a well-known number nine. We've got the technical players to do it. The problem is... We need a coach. We don't need a manager. Southgate's a manager. We need someone that will coach the players and let them know. Someone that can work with the, the technical side. A uh, father and manager again. That's what we need. Someone Spanish. I, I could think of one or two managers that will come, quite gladly, take the England job with the group of players that we've got and will make us progress. And there's no reason why we couldn't have won this tournament. We still can. I just don't think we will with Southgate in charge. Nice one, Chris. Thanks for it. Listen, I'm going to rattle through the calls. Uh, I appreciate that. Thank you very much for giving us a ring. I'm going to rattle through it because I want to try and give everybody an opportunity to get on uh, before we have our say on it. Jonathan, welcome to the show. How are you, mate? 
Yeah, not bad to hear, mate. Sir. Yeah, it's up, man. What do you want to say, pal? Um, I just want to say a couple of things, mate. One, is Gareth Southgate the manager? No. For two, what is he, his squad? Because the reason being is, does he pick the same squad every single time? And three, is he afraid of dropping players? Because I'm telling you now, as a proud Englishman, football is not coming home with Southgate in charge. What would you do different? What would you do different? If I'm being totally honest, with that side that he put out, I'd make six changes. Harry Kane, he looks absolutely... Um, he needs resting. I was going to say a different word, but he needs absolute rested. Because the reason being is, Sterling, by the goal that he scored against Croatia, what has he done? I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong, Declan Rice, I mean, what has he done? He's anonymous. Calvin Phillips, I was the first person to turn around and say, when he got into the England side, what are you doing? But he's been the best player in the two teams, in, in, in the two games that we've played. He's been the best player. I mean, it's been absolutely shocking what Gareth Southgate has put out. And he wants to say football's coming home. No, not football's coming home, mate. Sean, what do you think? Thank you very much, Jonathan, by the way. Sean, what do you think, mate? Welcome to the show. I don't think it's as bad as everyone's saying. I think the, the second game against Scotland was pretty damn poor. And I think what they need to do is, I think they should drop Kane for this last game, and they need to put on players like Sancho out on the right, Foden on the left, and just ping crosses in for Calvert-Lewin. He's the type of man that's going to dominate defenders in the air, and Kane keeps dropping too deep. You see it in the first game, he's out on the on the, on the the left wing with Mount, where Mount's got the ball trying to look to get across in. Kane's dropping too far off, and you need a focal point, and he's just not in the role enough at the moment. He keeps dropping off, and I don't know what he's what he's playing at, where Calvert Lewin is, you know, he's been taught by Carlo Ancelotti, stay in the box and just finish him off. And that's what we think I think we need to do. It is a concern that Gabs, isn't it? As uh, as <sighs> Harry Kane's obviously used to playing a certain role for for Spurs, dropping in deeper in order to receive the ball but he's not playing for Spurs in, the, in no. this scenario he's playing for England and there's a, with all due respect to, yeah. there's, there's better players around him well we've got too many players that want to do that job as well you know Mount wants to get it in them positions Greedish wants to come off and get it so mm. does Foden there's mm. too many players that can do that job you need Harry Kane to stay in the box be a striker and mm. his captain demand crosses demand sure James you get the ball in an area pull it in that's what he needs to do. Yeah. Maybe it might be a bit frustrating for him with Sterling on one side and Foden. Their first thought is to cut in, so he's not going to get them crosses. Mm. I think he played into Scotland's hands. Is I mean, he's the obvious scapegoat because he people look to him as the talisman to put yeah. the ball in the back of the net and and do whatever. But at the end of the day, if we're not giving him the ball, if we're if we're not creating chances for him, then that's not his fault, is it? Is the team set up to benefit? the best of Harry Kane. No, I can see I can see your point there, but when you watch Harry Kane for Spurs, you see him pressing defenders, you see him energetic, you see him, you know, he can make a chance out of nothing for himself. The, the first, these two games I've seen him play, he hasn't done that. You know, mm. he's lethargically, you know, chasing down defenders, he's getting bullied by defenders. I mean, Grant Hanley, no disrespect to him, he's had a, he's had a decent career, but he was bullying Kane every time he tried to start running with the ball. The Scottish defenders were catching him with ease. He wasn't holding the ball up. His first touch was giving it away. So as much as, yeah, he's not getting the chances, but mm. he's not doing the basic stuff that, you know, an England number nine should be doing. 